This is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Planet, and we are going to be doing some night fishing here in Emerald Lake. I have heard many, many a story about the walleye that can be caught here now with the new fish night fishing capabilities, and I've come here to do two things. One, to find that out, and the other, to see if I can get enough fish so that I can get the cap with a flashlight. <laughs> so... I can't remember exactly how many more I need to collect, but I believe it was around 24 or 25, something like that. Actually, it's 27. Okay, so let's see what we can do. Also, guys, I've already advanced to levels 39. I am almost to level 40, and I think that's as high as you can go. I'm not sure. I haven't heard. So what we're going to do here is we're going to head over here to the dock of peace I have my gear here and the gear I'm going to be taking with me is my Jester 7 foot with my counselor 3000 P and .007 braid and I've also got my Farcaster 8 foot by 6 inch with my Helios 3000 P floral .009 inch and a narrow spoon just happen to have on there for night fishing three quarter ounce. Now we're going to try that and we're going to try a few other things here real quick. Now I had gone fishing here just a little bit before that using my jester and I lost a lure guys. I was trying something a little different. I was trying a three inch shad on a six and seven ounce six seventh ounce uh, jig and something snapple with it so whatever it was it was pretty good size anyway guys we are going to go out here and we're going to check this out now we're at the top of a peak so we want to take advantage of this as much as we can now this is what I caught whatever it was on and I'm gonna have to probably bring my tension down a little bit just a tad I don't think normally I would but whatever this was I am not gonna hook into it and miss it again that's for sure alright let's see what we can do with this thing alright we're gonna start off doing a little stop and go action there we go didn't take long did not take long yeah I really wanted to check this out because I was hearing all kinds of good things about it but I was in the Florida map and I was catching a lot of red drum there and largemouth bass and snook but I want to try this walleye not bad now I got 26 more to go <laughs> No biggie. Yeah, this is a three inch glow glowing shad for night fishing. <clears throat> and apparently they like it.
All right, guys, I'm going to switch over to my other rod here for a second. I want to see how this one does with the narrow spoon. I've got a couple of narrow spoons, and I've got a couple of medium spoons, but I think this one is going to get a little more distance to it. Oh, yeah, 185. We'll try the this spoon first, and there's a couple others I want to try. There we go. Looks like they go for that pretty good, too. Ooh. This is a big fish. Big fish. Don't you even think about getting off of there. Trophy walleye. Now ah, we're talking. Boy, that's some deep water right there. All right, let's try the old medium spoon. Actually, no, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try the worm again, but I think I'm gonna put... Let's see, what kind of jig head do I have on here? That's the right size. All right, let's get... Let's try a four inch worm. Might try crawfish too, see what that does. Wait a minute, that's the wrong rod. Let's try tossing it over there, see if there's anything over here too. I mean, there are other fish besides walleye. All right, guys, I just happened to cast out a couple of times over here, and believe it or not, I pulled in some walleye. It's, uh, they have really moved these guys around at night quite a bit. I don't know if I can do it again here, because now I'm recording. It, everything seems to change when you record. But I was just doing this like this, and sure enough, a walleye got on there. I was thinking it was going to be a pike or something. Pretty sure the pike do bite here at night, but we'll find out. See? There we go. I think this is a walleye, and I think it's a good size one, too. I've never caught them over there before. Well, you can catch them there now. At least at night. It may be different at daytime. Yeah, the stop and go. Oh, that may have been a snag. I don't know. There is something I keep hitting about 48 feet out. But 
I never can be quite sure. Yeah, I haven't caught anything off the stop and go. Yeah, these worms work really well too, guys. Six seventh of an ounce, uh, four aughts for the four inch worm. They seem to like it pretty well. I also like the shad too. Okay, let me switch over to the shad and see if I'm tempted to using this crawfish, but I don't know. I don't know if that'll do anything or not. We'll see. Well, if they don't, the pike will go for it. All right, they're just not going for the crawdads. Let's try the old three-inch shad. Now that, I know they will. So if they're over here, or something over here, it should go for it. Whoop. Tackle hit the ground. Oh, come on. Hmm. Nothing. Sorry about the boombox, boys. <laughs> well. Alright, fine. Let's see if they're out for this. And I actually I might switch this up too. I'm gonna try a medium spoon. Should get some serious distance with this. Now, tiger spoons work excellent on these guys, especially the medium spoons. I'm kind of interested to see. Wow, 200 feet. All right, let's see if we can get some action here. There we go. I swear to God, I always seem to go back to the medium spoons. I know a lot of people like the artificial lures, but I just love the spoons. Medium spoons are just stinking awesome. Walla 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 walla.
And maybe this is just what they're after right at the moment. I was catching them off of worms pretty quick over on the right side. And then on this particular peak, they just weren't going for it. Oh. <clears throat> I hate when they just give a little nibble like that and then let go. There we go. Ooh, he hit hard. He hit hard. Yeah, he wanted that pretty bad. Mr. Walleye. And two, it's also getting lighter now, which is nice. Hmm. Nothing. I'll try over here again with the spoon this time. There we go. Walleye, walleye. I'd like to get a walleye source. Trophy walleyes are walleye sources. If you get a unique, it's a Wallasaurus Rex, but I don't think they have unique on here anymore. I think you have to get those in Michigan. I thought I had one on there for a minute. Hmm. Can I believe that the pike are biting? I was sure the pike would be out there on the night fishing. Matter of fact, the walleye is about all that is biting. Oh, you little. He nibbled at it, but he didn't. There he is. See how they do? They just start to grab it, and then sometimes they'll take it, and sometimes they won't. I'm going to keep fishing these little alcoves until There he is. He thought he had me, but he didn't. There they are, guys. I was wondering. I was kept thinking, surely there got to be Ching Pickerel in here. I guess they do go at night, just not as much as a walleye. Of course, I haven't really fished over in this area before. Been fishing mostly on the right. Maybe I can pick up a few pickerel here, or maybe even a northern pike. Let's try it too and see if that doesn't help matters a little bit. There it is. I knew I'd catch that little bugger. Ooh. He might be a Walleisaurus. Let's see. No. Just an extremely aggressive one.
Whoa! Okay, that was a flashlight. I don't think it's supposed to do that. <laughs> I still got an hour, guys, so we'll keep going. I tell you what, guys. Even though it says it's right, at, it's still part of the peak. I am not catching anything. Once it hit four o'clock and that light came up, the walleye stopped biting altogether. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to advance time here again. And we're going to see if we can get them interested again. I didn't do too bad. And what's the peak on this night? This night? Right now. Right now is the peak. So we got to make the most of this. Now how much? Sixteen more fish. Gosh, it's getting close, guys. It's getting close. We'll start off with this shad. There we go. Took him a minute. Being picky fied. Yeah, I think I'm going to switch over to the worm this time. Four-inch worm. There he is. Yeah, last time he got away from me. For a minute there, I thought he was going to do it to me again, but he didn't. Gonna come in a little closer because it seems to me like they're a little bit closer to the shore. There we go. Boy, this one's fighting. closer to shore than they used to be. You used to have to be way out there to get them. Now it's like 40 or 50 feet. There we go. That time I did it. You really got to let them take it a little more than that before you yank on it. Let 
Let it go to the bottom. Then do the stop and go. Then yank it when they grab it. We are kicking butt on the wall out here, guys. Let it hit bottom. That might not have been far enough. Yeah, I don't... Well, no. It was far enough. I just screwed that, screwed that up. Yeah, that's good. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. We've been doing this quite a while now. We're still a little ways away from getting to our goal, but we're not too far away now. We need to get 11 more fish. So I think this has gone a little long, but anyway, that's where the walleye are. You can catch them over there and with any of the lures that I've been using. So until next time, aim straight, cast far, and have fun.